Yo, what's up? Name is Jetlio one and welcome back to some more Resident Evil 4. Last episode, narrowly just kidding, completely and utterly avoided having to fight a gun turret in that room. It'd be cool to show it, but I don't feel like it. And now it's time for a puzzle. Sacrifice of six lives shall make a way to the true path. So this puzzle's interesting. You've got to flip over the things until you equal up to six people dead. At six. So whatever I just did, you can copy that if you want it. But you basically need two singles and two twos. That's the only way you can do that. Handgun ammo and money. Only both of those were worthless, actually. I take that back. And costume change. What's up, Napoleon? Surprise. But I'm afraid it's Ashley we need. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. Get off my back, old man. <gasps> old Did man. You say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might He's not old. Surprise, He's ancient. <laughs> but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites. Las plagas are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, that's great. Now, Leon, why aren't you shooting him in the face? He just admitted that you needed to shoot him in the face. We have sights and crossbows. Your guns are useless against us. Which would be true, except that this is not an RPG. This is an action game. And in action games, RPG rules don't apply. In which case, that means the guns win. The only game I can think of that it's not like that is Devil May Cry. And that's just because the only gun I can really think of mostly from Devil May Cry is Ebony and Ivory. And those aren't very strong. They're great for combos like Juggles and stuff, but they will not deal you the damage you want. The trap. Ow. Okay. You need to watch out. Those guys up there, double rocket launchers. And that's what we refer to in the gaming business as instant kill. That's Reckham. What you got? All oh, right. I forgot. I was meaning to show off the riot gun. Shotgun time. Well, this last guy, if he would stop running. Hello? Are you done? Yes, you are. I would say that you're done. Alright. Uh, he's done. These guys up here still exist, so you need to be careful. I forgot what triggers them. Security system. Deactivate? Yes. Oh, blue chest. I guess we're about to get the boss key. What you want? There they are. Now they have hoods. Ow. Yeah, rocket launchers are dangerous. Kind of an obvious statement, but still. They hit you, that's half of your health. And I have maxed out health. By this point, you'd probably be knocking on death's door in a normal playthrough. Jump down? No. What you need to do is go this way. Huh, there's absolutely nothing in this room except for this very large vase that couldn't possibly contain... Oh, a button. Well, that's helpful. But now the music starts again. Hello. Double rocket launchers. Said they killed themselves, it looks like. That does it. See, that's what they were talking about. This gun is pretty long range. Just floor them. And it looks like, aha. Uh -huh. You gotta go around the other side for the bridge. And then in the center we have... The goat ornament! So remember way back at the beginning of the castle? 
end of episode 12, beginning of episode 13, that huge uh, thing that dropped down in front of us, and I said we were going to need to get stuff, that's one of the things. We just need two more of them. Alright. Anything interesting back here? Okay, this is where we came from. And then you can just duck in here. Instead of doing what I did and just rushing crazy forward. Alright. I think we went over there. Oh, yeah. I was about to go check that door, but this is the door we just went down. Alright, nothing for it but to leave. And funnily enough, that rocket launcher guy behind the painting is probably now trapped there for all eternity. Let me just cut out the windows to get a better view. Awesome. Really good atmosphere building, like just staring out the window is pretty fun. Alright. We've got two doors. Alright. Plan B? Nah. In this game, plan B doesn't work. You can hit it with a rocket, it's not going to do jack. And if you can hit those crows, all the crows in the game drop stuff. So if you can hit the crows, you can get some prizes. Mostly just money. Hit a few. Anything? Velvet blue, spinal velvet blue. I think all of those drop a good amount of treasure, so you're going to want to do that. And this, this right here is important. It won't open. It's locked from the other side. With a little help from someone else, you might be able to get in there. So, this you need to remember. You need to remember to bring Ashley back here. There's not actually a reason to bring Ashley back here, other than that treasure. So if you forget about what's in there, or you forget about the existence of that room, then you're going to be missing out. Because... This section doesn't last long. After you get Ashley, you have to, like, it's a full backtracking thing. So if you want what's in there, you need to backtrack. And I want what's in there, so I'm going to remember. Luckily, I'm doing this in a burst recording. I usually record about six episodes at a time, or two hours. Roughly. So, yeah. As long as... I think we'll be able to hit that point in the game by the time this burst of recording is up, so we've got a very good chance of actually remembering to go back and get that item. It's an indentation. Two moons make one. Alright. Well, it's time to go into a garden maze. Why are we calling Salazar? We don't like him. Mr. Kennedy. Still alive, I see. Of course I'm still alive. So. I've got more health potions than Chris Redfield could even dream of, even in RE5. Here too. <laughs> Sagacious as I am, even I get lost here sometimes. Well, that's just because you can't see over the hedges, Tiny. You'll never get out. Do you know that no one dies without a cause? You will satisfy the stomachs of my cute pets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tie up a few loose ends. Namely, like my shoelaces. <laughs> rats. Rats? Two rats. Two rats. Who's Lewis? Who's the other? Huh. They're an intruder besides me? No, it's actually the four light warriors from 8-Bit Theater looking for that dire rat for Sarda. Or wait, no, that was Bahamut. Yes, they're looking for a dire rat for Bahamut. And it just so happens that Salazar owns a dire rat. Isn't that just great? Maybe we'll run into them there. Then again, that would probably be bad. Because Black Mage would probably just kill Leon for the fun of it. It's like, oh, you're actually a hero? We can't have that now, can we? So yes, zombie dogs everywhere. I suggest you be really careful. First time playing through this game didn't scare me very much, but this was the section that actually scared me. Just because there's one bit where there's a dog, and it can jump through the bushes, and like, I was not expecting that. So, maze. Let's reload and be sure. I think I'm gonna take some health here. Full heal. We actually happen to have the ingredients for one. Okay. Cooperate, controller. Alright. 
Let's get a vantage on this maze. Okay. Haven't been that way. Wait. Yes, I have. That's where I have been. Where I need to get is down here. There's one of the things we need. Got Moonstone. Left half. If we get the other half, we can evolve a Pokemon. I think it's about... Yeah, right here. No! Curse you, slow fire rate! I almost managed to escape that completely with no damage. Alright, next, go this way. Jackal TMP ammo. I think that, I think it, I just realized that that was a joke from the developers. Because they put the ammo that has a dog on it. In the section with all the zombie dogs. And that's just brilliant. I hear one. Where are you? Don't dodge me. Leon's obviously got higher speed than you do. He's got a higher level and a promoted class. Do you, Risen, really think you can take him on? Alright. You weren't supposed to break down the door that fast. And you're also not supposed to tank multiple bullets. That was three shots. How tough are you? It's obviously the leader of the dog pack right there. It's the alpha wolf. What do we got here? Is this what I was looking for? Yes. That moment scared... Or wait, no. There was. It was a different one where it's like really unexpected. Uh, wolf jumping out. I think it was like right here. Like this dog jumped through right there while I was walking back. And it scared me. I think I can still hear some. No? Hold up. Alrighty, then how do I get back here? Okay. Here's a yellow. This is going to be important first playthrough. It's over by that first dog cage. You just go to the right. Except I goofed it up. You got to go over here and then up the stairs to get your... Second piece. Got Moonstone, right half. Now let's go... Oh. Keys, treasures. And combine. Got the blue Moonstone. Only find one of those every once in a blue moon. Her, her. Now let's leave the dogs behind. Just kidding, there aren't any left. I'm pretty sure I killed them all. Just reload two shells. It's the only way that that animation is relevant. Because that's a funny thing. Have you ever noticed that, like, in Res even in Resident Evil 5 and 6 and this game, you reload, like, two shells into the shotgun and then it reloads, like, 20 at once? So, yeah. Got the Blue Moon Stone, used it. Alright. Cutscene time. Well, well. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry. You can already see them. You have 20-20 vision. Put them up now. Ninja two skills. But you forget she's also a ninja. Now what's with the fancy knife twirl, Leon? You could have been a half second faster if you hadn't done that. Bit of advice. Try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. I know, it's only been, so what? True. A whole game? True. About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you Wesker? Wesker? Ada. What's it to you? Well, Chris isn't here, so it Why doesn't matter. Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? Obviously, she showed, she showed up to troll you, Leon. That's why she had flashbangs and sunglasses, which I would like to note is highly, highly ironic. Aren't those things supposed to protect you from blinding lights? Like the sun? Save? Yes, let's do it. And well, that's the end of that chapter, thankfully. I hate that maze. It takes a lot of time if you don't know where you're going. Even if you do know where you're going, it's really easy to get lost. 
I'm glad I did not get lost on camera because that would have been mildly embarrassing. So anyways, this has been Jetly One, and I will see you next time as we continue on into Chapter 3-3 and hopefully save Ashley. See ya then.